my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students, happy learning! Our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first determine the side and height of a square pyramid, next, find the volume of square pyramid, and solve problems involving the volumes of square pyramids. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So ngayon, let's unlock the vocabulary terms. I have here the definition. All you have to do is identify the term. Ready? Check your answer. That is very good. A square pyramid. Remember, it is a rectangular pyramid with a square base. Take note, no? So, meron siyang square base, kaya siya tinawag na square pyramid. And four triangular faces joined at the top by a vertex or yung tinatawag nating apex. So, I have here the real objects, no? Nakikita ko na sa ating daily life. So, ang tawag po dito ay wooden square pyramid box and square pyramid cabinet. So, nag-meet sila doon sa triangular faces. Remember, ito po yung vertex na tinatawag natin or apex, di ba? Yung nasa tuktok. So, ibig sabihin class, so, I have here the picture of a square pyramids. Meron tayong apex na binanggit ko kanina and base height and the base set side length. Okay, so take note of that, no? The height of the square pyramid is the perpendicular height. Nakikita po natin. Which is the distance from the apex, yung nasa tuktok mo, uh, or the vertex, no, to its base. Ito yon. The slant height is the perpendicular distance measured along the lateral face. Ito kasi yung lateral face mo. From the apex to the base edge. Okay, so yung base edge mo kasi dyan, yun yung side na side mo. Okay? And of course, balikan po natin or i-recall natin yung rectangular pyramid para makita natin yung relationship nila, no? So, recall that the rectangular pyramid is a solid figure that has a rectangular base and four triangular faces joined at the top by a vertex or tinatawag natin apex. So, the bottom of rectangles are called the base of the pyramid. So, kapag nasa square pyramid ka, ang base niya is square. Okay? So, since nasa square tayo, tandaan po natin, no, ang square ay isang rectangle with four equal sides. That is its length and width are equal. Kaya nga siya side times side instead of length times width. It follows that the volume of a square pyramid. So, ibig sabihin yan, paano ba nagkaroon ng formula for finding the volume of a square pyramid? So, eto po ang dahilan ko bakit na-derive siya. Okay, so balikan po natin yung volume ng pyramid para makita natin no yung connection. So, the volume is simply get the one-third of area ng base times height. Okay, so so remember the area ng base mo, yun yung length times width. Kapag nasa rectangle ka, no? And i-multiply mo sa height and i-one-third mo. Since we are talking about the square pyramid, yung length times width mo dyan, papalitan mo siya ng side times side. Kasi nga, square base tayo pagdating sa square pyramid. So, yan po yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkaroon ng formula to find the volume of square pyramids. In general, yan na po yung formula natin. We have to say that one-third times square ng side times height. Or pwede natin ipakita yung formula na square ng side times height divided by 3. Yung one-third kasi dyan, sinorikat mo na lang siya. Pinakita as divide by 3. So with that, we have to use the formula to find the square pyramid or the volume of square pyramid. Okay, so let now let's work the example number one. Find the volume of a square pyramid if its base edge is 9 meters and its height is 14 meters. As you can see, nakalabel na po yung base edge natin. Yun yung side side natin. Yun yung 9 meters, yung height mo is 14 meters. All we have to do is complete the table. Kailangan ma-identify mo or ma-determine yung unit. Yung side, yung parehas lang measure, yung height and the volume. So, let's recall, di ba? Kailangan meters, malaman mo yon. And that is correct. Side mo is correct. 9 meters, same with that. 9 meters, yung height mo is 14 meters. Siyempre, hahanapin natin yung volume. So, paano ba malaman yung volume? So, balikan natin. Kailangan yung solution mo dyan, ma-recall mo yung formula. Ano nga ba yung volume ng pyramid ng square? That is one-third of the square ng side times height. 
since meron ka ng data dyan sa table, kaya nga, isa-substitute mo na lang siya. All you have to do is, substitute mo yung S, yung side mo, yun yung 9 meters square, times yung height mo na 14 meters. Tapos, kailangan step-by-step -step solution ka. Unahin mo yung my exponent. What is 9 meters square? Ibig sabihin ng 9 meters square, i-multiply mo yung 9 meters sa sarili niya. Kaya 9 times 9, 81. Kaya that is 81 meters square. Tapos, i-copy mo lang si 14 meters. And also, copy the one-third. Mamaya ka mag-simplify one step at a time. So, and after that, yung nasa parenthesis, i-multiply mo yung 81 square meters doon sa 14 meters. And the product is equal to 1,134. Cubic na siya. Naging 3 ang exponent. Meters. So, divide mo by 3. Yun yung ating one-third, no? Sinorkat mo siya. And what is 1,134 cubic meters divided by 3? That is correct. 378 cubic meters. So, yan na po yung ating sagot sa volume na hinahanap sa problem number 1. Therefore, the volume of the square pyramid is 378 cubic meters. So, now let's work the example number 2. Find the volume of square pyramid if its height is 12 inches and its base edge is 7 inches. As you can see, nakalabel na po yung ating side na 7 inches. Yung height mo na 12 inches. All you have to do is complete the table. Kailangan ma-complete mo muna yung table para may substitute mo na lang mamaya sa ating formula. Okay, the unit is correct. Inches. Yung side mo parehas that is 7 inches. Yung height dyan ay 12 inches, okay, hahanapin natin yung volume. Kaya naka-question mark siya. And of course, ang solution natin, kailangan at least ma-recall, ma maalala po natin yung formula. The formula to find the volume of square pyramid is simply one-third times the square ng side times height. Then, i-substitute mo na lang yung iyong side na 7 inches tapos yung height na 12 inches. Okay, don't forget na kailangan ma-exponent na to kasi yun po yung square. And all you have to do is square mo yung 7 inches. Yun yung ating side. Kaya that is 49 square inches. Tapos i-copy mo yung 12 inches. And also i-bring down mo lang si 1 third. Tapos yung nasa parenthesis, 49 inches square tsaka 12 inches, i-multiply mo. Kailangan step, one step at a time. So 588 Cubic na siya, inches. Then, divide by 3, yun yung one-third na sinorkat natin. And when you divide, that is equal to 196 cubic inches. So, yan na po yung ating volume na hinahanap sa problem number 2. Therefore, the volume of the square pyramid is 196 cubic inches. So, now let's work the example number 3. The roof of a house in the form of a square pyramid if its base edge is 6 feet and the volume is 120 cubic feet, how high, gaano ba kataas yung roof na ibibuild nila? Okay, so first, you have to complete the table. Kailangan ma-identify mo. Ano ba yung unit that is correct fit? Yung side natin dyan, that is 6. Pareha sila. Okay, remember, that is the square base. Okay, and yung height natin dyan, Yun yung hahanapin natin, kaya naka-question mark. Yung volume natin, that is 120 cubic feet. And of course, kailangan ma-recall natin yung formula. Ano nga ba yung formula natin? To find the volume of square pyramid is simply, kukunin natin yung one-third ng square ng side times height. Or simply, sinorkat ko na lang siya para mas madali i-substitute. Kaya nga, square ng side times height, divide by 3 na lang. And i-substitute mo na yung volume mo. Di ba meron tayong 120 cubic feet? Yun yung given. And yung side mo na 6 feet. Kaya nga square mo yung 6 feet times height. Yung height dyan, yun yung hahanapin natin. Over 3. Okay, ganito. Kapag merong denominator at para matanggal yan, i-cross multiply mo. Ibig sabihin yung 3 na denominator, i-multiply mo dun sa left side na 120 cubic feet. Kaya nga that is, yan. Kapag minultiply mo na siya, or ikrinos multiply, mawawala na siya. Kaya matitira na lang dyan, i-copy mo lang din yung 6 feet square times height. Tapos, i-multiply mo yung 3 times 120 cubic feet. That is, very good, equals to 360 cubic feet. Tapos, i-square mo naman yung 6 feet. Ibig sabihin na square mo, i-multiply mo yung 6 sa sarili niya. Kaya nga, 6 times 6, 36. Or simply, 36 square feet. Tapos, i-bring down mo yung height dyan. Hindi pwede mawala yan kasi yan po ang hinahanap mo. 
Tapos, i-copy ko lang muna para masundan natin step by step. Para matanggal yung number na katabi ni height, yung h mo, kasi yung po ang hinahanap natin. I-divide mo on both side of the equation by 36 square feet para matira yung height dyan. Kaya makakancel ngayon yung 36 square feet. Matitira na lang si height mo kasi yung po ang hinahanap. And i-divide mo ngayon si 360 divide by 36. Ilan yon That is 10. Kaya nga, Paano na kuha yung fit? Remember kung may tatlo kang fit at may dalawa kang fit, pag sinubtract mo, isang fit na lang matitira. Kaya nga that is quotient rule for law of exponents. So with that, pwede natin balik na rin or that is height is equal to 10 feet. So yan na po yung ating height na hinahanap sa problem number 3. So therefore, the height of the square pyramid roof is 10 feet. So with that, let's check your understanding. You are going to answer the assessment number one. Ready? Timer starts now. Using the formula. Okay, so the answer is letter C, 600 cubic centimeter. Okay, so paano yan? Remember, Jungkook, di ba? As you can see, si Jungkook ang happy niya, no? Jungkook, nakareceive siya ng gift, gift galing sa kanyang fans. The package of the gift is in the form of square pyramid. Nakikita po natin, ang dami, di ba? The base edge of the pyramid is 15 cm, while its height is 8 cm. Uh, so ano ay yung volume ng package na ma-receive niya? Okay, so therefore, substitute mo lang ating given. Yung 15 cm, yung ating side, tapos yung height na 8 cm. Tapos, square mo, kaya nga that is, i-multiply mo siya, and that is equal to 1,800 cubic centimeter. Tapos, i-divide mo by 3, or simply that is equal to 600 cubic centimeter. So, yan na po yung ating sagot. Letter C. Okay, let's have number 2. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is letter B, 432 cubic inches. Remember si Min, Min Hyun, di ba? So, ang cute-cute-cute niya. Min Hyun is a constructing, constructing a container in the shape of square pyramid for a project. Di ba? May project sila. Nag-aaral kasi siya. He wants to the base of a pyramid to measure 9 inches by 9 inches and the height of the pyramid to be 16 inches. Gaano, how many cubic inches could be the pyramid hole? So, kaya nga, substitute mo lang yung given doon na side yung 9 inches tapos yung height na 16 inches. Para malaman yung volume niya, square mo yung side times, times height, divide by 3, that kaya nga that is 432 cubic inches. So, yun po yung ating sagot. Letter B. Okay, for the last problem, ready? Use the formula. Okay, so the answer for number three is correct. Letter E, five inches. Paano po nakuha yon? So, di ba ang hinahanap dyan yung height? Di ba si Kim Tae-yung? Nakikita po natin, di ba? So, nag -trip, uh, on the trip sa Egypt, di ba nagpunta siya? Tapos bumili siya ng small tone in the shape of square pyramid. A souvenir. If its base edge is 3 inches and the volume is 15 cubic inches, gaano kataas yung kanyang biniling stone? Okay, so pag sinabsitute mo yung ating given, yung volume na 15 inches, cubic feet, inches, tapos yung ating side, yung 3 inches, tapos yung height na wawala, divide by 3. I-cross multiply mo siya and that is... Pag multiply mo na yan, that is 45 cubic inches. Tapos, square mo yung 3 inches, kaya 9 square inches. Then, i-divide mo on both side by 9 inches square. Para makancel at matira yung height mo dyan. And, ano nga yun? Yung 45 divided by 9. That is the height, 5 inches. So, yung po yung ating sagot, letter A. So, with that, you are going to do your assignment. Complete the table on each number and find the volume of the square pyramid, copy and answer uh, with solution on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning everyone. Bye-bye and happy learning. <laughs>